Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you another yet awesome photo blend effect. Um, so I opened a canvas of any the size. Um, any size is fine. Doesn't really matter. So you're going to want to pick a photo of your choosing. Um, I'm going to choose a photo like this, um, but any photo you have is fine. I'm going to then go over here to my layers palette and duplicate it three times. One, two, three copies, and I'm going to then name my, I'm going to move them like this, move them over each other, um, as shown. Two and three. Okay, there we go. I'm going to then name my layers, just so they're easier to remember which is which. So go down here, click on it, and then you can type in a name. I'm going to do right, left, and then center. Um, right being the top, and left being on the bottom, just so that it's easier that way to work with. Okay, got that so far? Alright, now you're going to click on each layer and you're going to add the effects in levels. So do a control L for open your levels and you're going to add these numbers to each individual layer. Right, left, and center, all the same numbers here. Okay, you got me so far? Okay, it's going to change it a little bit, not too much. You won't notice much of it yet, but we're going to get there somewhere, I promise. Okay, so that's our next layer, almost down there, alright, and you'll so begin to see kind of a lightened effect, as you can see there. Alright, we're on my last layer now, almost done. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, That's the effect right there, okay, you got that? Okay, so now come over here, right down here. All right, what am I doing? Okay, yep. Then you're gonna add this texture, um, it's in the description. Add it below all of your levels, below level, all right? And then change it, that to overlay. Right is overlay, and then change the other one to screen. That's the center, by the way. And then with the center one, just opacity down to 67, okay, or 68. And then you're going to change the left over to screen as well. And then change that opacity, of the left opacity down to 70, just like that. All right, you see that? Look at that awesomeness right there. Now we're going to edit it a little bit. We're going to erase part of uh, what's covered, some of the stuff we don't like. So let me erase that bit right there, just because I don't like it, just chilling there. Oops. Ah. Okay. Now it looks pretty good. And I'm going to erase that too. Okay, there we go. I kind of like that. Alright, there we go. Great. Now we're getting somewhere. And you're going to add a new layer above all of them. Layer 3. And this one we're going to add some brushes. We're going to add brushes of our choosing. Now, you can use any brushes you have on hand, it doesn't really matter. I will provide the ones I'm using in the description for your usage if you want. But if you have your own brushes you'd like to use, that is fine also. Alright, let's see, I'm going to choose something of this matter, like a brick wall. And, um, okay, and, they can, and make sure it's black that you're using for the color. Um, and then change the uh, brush layer to overlay, just so it gives it that cool effect. Okay, looks pretty awesome right now. Yeah, I'm just going to speed this up a bit because adding the brushes does take a while, just so you know, because, you know, I want to find the best effect possible so I can show you what it looks like. All awesomeness. Took me about five or six minutes to actually get the effect I liked, um, but you know it's all personal preference here. There's really no um, specific way to do this um, with the brushes. Um, then at the end, you can always add text because um, that would make it look even more awesome. <laughs> all right, seriously, this is taking me forever to go through.
And then you can always go and use the dodge tool as well if you want to lighten it. Lighten your brushes if it's too dark for you. Use the dodge tool. Um, or whatever. That too. I'm going to add my text here. Um, just random text. Um, nothing specific. Alright, and then I'm going to add another brush for the text just because I think it's going to be awesomer. And we're almost done here. Just adding a few more touch-ups here to make it look good. And all right, there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, here's my two outcomes I have. I have this one here, and then I made this one earlier with another picture. This one here. How awesome is that? All right, guys. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And subscribe. And of course, like. And then always comment.